Folks, what's up? Happy Hump Day. Happy Groundhog Day. Happy Trumpet Day. All this good stuff. That, oh, this is Michael, by the way. The wee hours of the night with Dale Trivia Question. What's up? Whoop, whoop. All that good stuff. Anyways, uh, it's 2, 2, 22. It's it's weird kind of thing going on for today. All kinds of It's called all kinds of different days. Numbers are aligning. All that weird stuff. Stars and numbers, all that weird stuff. So I hope that the uh, uh, Groundhog does whatever he has to do. I forget what it is. I'm totally confused at this point. To uh, not have six more weeks of winter. That'll be nice. I'm ready for spring already. We've had three back-to-back snows and all that. You know, whatever. I'm done with it. Anyways, I digress. The answer to the previous trivia question was, of course, the U.S. Supreme Court. You know I had to go back to the U.S. Supreme Court. I've used this organization so many times in my trivia questions. But it's such good. It's like go into a candy store and just picking trivia questions if you're a geek like me. Anywho, the Supreme Court first assembled on February 1st in 1790, which was the focus of the trivia question in the Royal Exchange Building in New York City, which was at the time the nation's capital. You'd be surprised how many people don't know that. There wasn't really much to the first meeting. The earliest sessions of the court were devoted to organizational proceedings and pounding this kind of stuff out since they had never met before. The first case didn't even get to the high court until 1791. That's like almost over a year later. Additionally, some of the justices were concerned about the burdens of being a writing circuit under primitive travel conditions because they were required to uh, go from circuit to circuit back in the day. Now, there were only six justices initially, which was also mentioned in the trivia question. The number of justices on the Supreme Court changed six times total before setting at the present total of of nine justices in 1869. So that's a long time before they eventually got established. Now, the same day the Judiciary Act was passed in 1789, George Washington appointed all of the first six justices. These included John Jay as the Chief Justice, which has also been featured in trivia questions. John Rutledge of South Carolina, William Cushing of Massachusetts, John Blair of Virginia, Robert Harrison of Maryland, and James Wilson of Pennsylvania. Two days following George Washington's appointments and recommendations of these six justices, all six appointments were confirmed by the U.S. Senate. Two days later, I reiterate, can you see that happening today? No. <laughs> Never. You're looking at two months at the least in uh, proceedings. And with Justice Breyer recently uh, retiring, we'll see how long it takes for Biden to push his next recommendation through the Senate for confirmation. That'll be interesting to watch. The Supreme Court would grow on, go on, as we know, to grow into arguably the most powerful judicial body in the world. And that's something I find fascinating by the U.S. Supreme Court, which is why I use it in trivia questions often. In times of constitutional crisis, the Supreme Court plays a most definite, definitive role in forever resolving the great issues of our time. So here's to the Supreme Court and seeing it again in future trivia questions. That's what I'm talking about. All right, folks, let's get to this Groundhog Day and get over this hump and hump day for today's new trivia question for February 2nd for 2-2-22 on this day in 1892. Inventor William Painter patents this inexpensive invention designed for one-time use under a pressure-sensitive seal, completely leak-proof, which would go on to be a collector's item of sorts depending on the product being consumed. Or a pretty tasty candy, too. Have a good Wednesday, folks. And I'll see you on the other side of that hump.